Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, Mr. Jones, thank you for being here. Uh, you are a currently sitting United States Attorney. You previously served as Chairman of the Attorney General's Advisory Committee. You're the Acting Director of ATF. You are perhaps uniquely situated to discuss the Obama Administration's priorities and record concerning gun prosecution. So I'd like to ask you a question. Is it a priority for the Obama Justice Department to prosecute felons and fugitives who attempt to illegally purchase firearms? Senator, thank you for that question. And uh, one of the priorities of the Department of Justice has always been during my second tenure as U.S. Attorney, protecting the American public from violent crime, including violent firearms crimes. Is that a yes? That's a yes. Would you describe it as a high priority? It is one of the major priorities. Okay, so a major priority. Yes. I guess then I would ask you to reconcile that comment that it's a high priority with the data. And in particular, in 2010, out of 48,321 felons and fugitives who attempted to illegally purchase firearms, the Department of Justice prosecuted only 44 of them. 44 out of over 48,000. Uh, and, and at least for me, I have difficulty reconciling those hard facts with the assertion you have made that it is a high priority of the Obama Justice Department to prosecute felons and fugitives who try to illegally purchase firearms. During fiscal year 2012, Senator, the Department of Justice did approximately 85,000 federal criminal cases involving defendants, and one out of seven involved firearms offenses. Um, the NICS check does generate hits of people who are potentially prohibited, and um, you are correct in that the number of folks who are prosecuted federally for what has been coined lying and trying is a small number, but the number does not tell the story about what the department has done with armed career criminals. Uh, with, with respect, sir, my question wasn't about armed career criminals. My question was whether it was a priority to prosecute felons and fugitives who try to illegally buy firearms. Now, this, this data focuses exactly on that. That's why I wanted, you, you could have said, no, it's not a priority, and, and, and I would suggest the data demonstrate it is not a priority of the Obama Justice Department to prosecute felons and fugitives. In my view, that's completely unacceptable. Do, do you disagree? Do you think prosecuting just 44 out of over 48,000 felons and fugitives who tried to illegally buy guns, do you think that's an acceptable alloc allocation of prosecutorial resources? <laughs> Prosecutorial resources are thin, and there are a number of issues that U.S. attorneys across the country deal with, ranging from national security financial frauds, and we have tough decisions to make. The reality is, as a first-line prosecutor and someone who exercises their discretion on a regular basis, if given the choice between doing a lying and trying case, which we have not done in Minnesota, and doing an so your office has we done have zero not of done a lying and trying case. It, your office has prosecuted zero felons and fugitives who tried to illegally purchase we firearms. We have not tried a uh, we have not prosecuted is that a, a yes? lying and trying case. We have done over 150 felon in possession, armed career criminal cases. We have done straw purchaser cases on the spectrum of uh, prosecutions that U.S. attorneys can do lying and trying cases, both because of the dedication of resources and the potential deterrent impact and the sentence that's going to be involved are not commonly done, which is underlying that 44 figure that uh, you cited earlier, Senator. Uh, Mr. Jones, I, I have to admit I find it remarkable uh, that, that you testified to this committee that it is a, quote, major priority of the Department of Justice to prosecute felons and fugitives who attempt to illegally purchase firearms, and that then you respond to this committee that it is an acceptable allocation of prosecutorial resources to prosecute just 44 out of over 48,000. And even more astonishingly, you inform this committee that you have prosecuted zero. Uh, my question to you is, are there other things you would describe as major priorities of the Department of Justice that, that at the same time you have chosen to prosecute zero cases enforcing those so-called major priorities? 
With all due respect, Senator, just so the record is clear, a major priority of this Department of Justice is protecting the American public from violent crime, including violent gun crime. I just want to make sure that that's clear so that what my testimony is is not twisted into something that it's not. I and your question, sir, was? Are there any other so-called major priorities on which you have prosecuted zero cases? We've made hard decisions with our resources. Priority number one is national security. In Minnesota, we have made major efforts on that front with Al-Shabaab. We have made major efforts on protecting our community from violent crime, including gun crime. We have made major efforts protecting uh, the safety of people's nest eggs and financial fraud. And so we have a veritable smorgasbord of decisions that we're making. And all of our work has been consistent with the priorities of this Department of Justice. Uh, Mr. Jones, I would note you, you chose not to answer my question. I just want to have one final question with the, the chairman's indulgence which is that the Grassley-Cruz legislation that was introduced on the floor of the Senate that received a majority of votes on the Senate, 52 senators, including nine Democrats, it was the most bipartisan of all of the comprehensive gun legislation introduced. It provided funding for prosecuting felons and fugitives who attempt to illegally purchase firearms because in my judgment and in the judgment of a majority of the Senate, it is utterly unacceptable for this Justice Department to refuse to prosecute felons and fugitives who attempt to illegally purchase firearms. In your role as acting director of the ATF or as U.S. Attorney, did you support the Grassley-Cruz legislation and do you support that legislation? Uh, I am not familiar with the specifics of that legislation and um, I I'm not in a position to answer the question because I am not familiar with the legislation. Very well. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.